वेलकम टू द ट्वेंटी एथ लेक्चर ऑफ दिस लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन इंटरनेशनल आर्बिट्रेशन प्रैक्टिस दिस लेक्चर इज अ पार्ट ऑफ चैप्टर टू ऑन इन्वोकिंग आर्बिट्रेशन इन इंटरनेशनल कमर्शियल आर्बिट्रेशन एंड इंटरनेशनल इन्वेस्टमेंट आर्बिट्रेशन लेक्चर नाइनटीन टू ट्वेंटी टू डेल्ट विथ इन्वोकिंग आर्बिट्रेशन इन इंटरनेशनल कमर्शियल आर्बिट्रेशन वाइल लेक्चर ट्वेंटी थ्री टू ट्वेंटी सेवन डेल्ट विथ इन्वोकिंग आर्बिट्रेशन इन इंटरनेशनल इन्वेस्टमेंट आर्बिट्रेशन इन लेक्चर ट्वेंटी सेवन वी डेल्ट विद द फिफ्थ पार्ट ऑफ द ट्वेल्व पार्ट चेकलिस्ट फॉर इन्वोकिंग इक्सड आर्बिट्रेशन इफ यू हियर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम डू हैव अ लुक एट द प्रीवियस थ्री लेक्चर्स लिंक टू दोज लेक्चर्स आर इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो इन दिस लेक्चर वी डील विद द पोर्शन ऑफ द सिक्स पार्ट ऑफ द चेकलिस्ट डीलिंग विद आर्बिट्रेशन अंडर द इन्वेस्टमेंट ट्रीटी this head is important because most of the jurisdictional objections to a claim arise due to non compliance or irregularity in compliance of aspects dealt with under this heading serial number 38 of the checklist deals with satisfaction of pre arbitration invocation requirements such as consultation negotiation and cooling off period this is important and something that requires due care and attention about 90% of the bilateral investment treaties contain this requirement see kesin tv urman seva af cooling off period clauses in investment treaties to broadly generalize most tribunals disregard this requirement as a mere procedural device not affecting the tribunal's jurisdiction we have listed here some decisions in international investment arbitration jurisprudence holding as such you can pause this video and take a screenshot of these decisions some tribunals have however held that failure to comply with escalation clauses would prevent tribunals from entertaining the claim again you may take note of these examples not complying with the requirement of cooling off period may also prevent parties from resubmitting their claims see for instance the ablacat decision and the rr wf infrastructure decisions in guara kachi america versus bolivia award the tribunal held the explicit wording requiring a written notification and the expiry of a period of 6 months from that notification leads the tribunal to consider that the cooling off period narrows the consent given by the contracting parties to international arbitration the cooling off period is a jurisdictional barrier conditioning the jurisdiction of the tribunal ratione voluntatis since it is not up to a claimant to decide whether and when to notify the host state of the dispute just as it is not up to such claimant to decide how long they must wait before submitting the request for arbitration therefore ignoring to address this requirement may to may prove to be a considerable waste of time and money to a claimant specifically dealing with this may also lead to a legal examination as to whether this requirement under the bit has been complied with or not the notice of arbitration in discovery llc versus slovakia addresses this issue it says the claimant has satisfied the consultation and negotiation requirement under article 62 of the bit and the 6 month cooling off period as specified in article 63 a of the bit has elapsed a related item in the checklist is item 48 which deals with the lapse of cooling off period it would do good to address this along with serial number 38 itself but some notices address these requirements separately for instance the notice in discovery llc versus slovakia has a specific paragraph on the compliance with the requirement of cooling off period that is distinct from the compliance with 
serial number 38 of the checklist the set notice reads in its le- relevant part the claimant sent a formal notice of dispute to the respondent on 5 october 2020 describing in detail the disputes which form the basis of this request for arbitration and requesting consultations to avoid the need for arbitration the respondent replied by way of letter on 27 january 2021 and consultations have ensued since then in correspondence between the claimant's legal representative representatives and the respondent despite these efforts no resolution has been achieved as 6 months have elapsed since the claimant served the respondent with its notice of dispute the claimant is entitled to submit the dispute for final resolution by an exit arbitral tribunal serial number 39 deals with the jurisdictional requisite of existence of an investment dispute this is an important requirement and is also known as jurisdiction ratio ne materie investment treaties typically define an investment and investment dispute the notice must state how these requirements have been complied with for a detailed discussion on this requirement see lecture 45 of the lecture series on introduction to international investment law us link is provided in the description to this video also see lecture 7 and 8 of the said lecture series which deals with this topic again the link to these lectures are in the description article 251 of the exit convention is relevant the jurisdiction of the center shall extend to any legal dispute arising directly out of an investment between a contracting state or a, or any const, constituent subdivision or agency of a contracting state designated to the center by that state and the national of another contracting state which the parties to the dispute consent and ready to submit to the center note the words any legal dispute arising directly out of an investment this is the rate you need material requirement again in the discovery llc versus Slo- slovakia notice it is stated in this regard the first condition for the submission of a dispute to arbitration under the bit is the existence of an investment dispute article 61c expressly defines an investment dispute as including an alleged breach of any right conferred or created by this treaty with respect to an investment as set out below discovery clearly has an investment dispute with the respondent as defined the following are relevant for a determination of whether there is an investment dispute or not and are to be stated and explicitly dealt with in the notice of arbitration the legal dispute relates to a particular transaction whether the transaction of the claimant falls within the scope of investment in the bit whether the claimant is a company as defined in the bit the purposes of the bit and the types of investments protected in the bit existence of economic interest and the relationship of the claimant with the economic interest expenditure spent on the investment or quantification of the economic interest see the discovery llc vs slovakia notice of arbitration where these back aspects are dealt with that's all in this lecture more on this in the next lecture bye bye and stay safe